Today, we're talking about Tara Henderson, a family vlogger on YouTube. A few years ago, she cried on Instagram and said she was taking her kids off YouTube, but quickly went back on that because her views tanked and viewers wanted to see her kids in YouTube videos. They pretty much demanded to see her kids in those videos. Tara is known on social media for being a careless family vlogger. She has shared her address and other personal information about her family numerous times, and she did it again recently. Tara also did a Q&A where she announces that she's adding on to her million dollar house that she just bought, and she answers a question about why she closed Typically Blush. I wanna to respond to those today, so if you're interested in hearing what I have to say, keep watching. How has simplifying your life house felt? Tara said, we haven't really simplified our life much really, but downsizing the home was the best decision for our family financially during this time while Adam is going back to school. We feel extremely blessed to be in the position where I can support him with his dreams and goals. I wanna talk about a few things here. Number one, I think she's making it sound like she's 100% supporting Adam right now financially, and she's not. Adam is a retired vet, so he receives a check every month. He's also in school, and I believe he's going to school for free right now. I think he used a little bit of his credits a while ago, but he has more credit left to use. So I don't think they're paying for school right now. And because he's in school, I also believe he gets a monthly housing allowance. So even though Adam isn't working right now, he's still bringing in income and they would not be able to live the lifestyle they live without his income. I think things are that tight for them right now. Plus, she makes him appear in some of her content, which he cannot stand. You can tell he does not want to be on camera. It's so awkward. And remember, when Tara sold her custom-built home, she said the plan was to pay cash for the next house. That didn't happen. I have screenshots to back this up. I'll link the video right here where I covered Tara's new mortgage. So basically, they sold their custom-built home. They had some equity in it. I don't think they had as much as they thought they had because they reduced the price on that house to sell it. So they're living off that equity. So that's Adam's money too. So Tara isn't fully 100% supporting the family right now. They're living off the equity from their old house. Adam has an income and Tara has an income. They're supporting each other right now. One thing you love and one thing you dislike about the new house, love you. Because this comment says love you, I feel like this is a friend or a family member asking this question. Anyways, Tara said, I love the layout, our backyard for the kids. They use the pool every single day and how much easier it is to maintain. It's the perfect size for us, the location, schools, etc. The only downside is we wish we had another room, but we have already met with an architect to add on a room in our walk-in attic. What? And also a gym? Work in progress, but hopefully soon. I was so shocked when I read this. I said this before, but their custom built home had great bones. I don't think they should have sold that house. I would have fought tooth and nail to keep that house because it's everything they wanted. They built that house, it's a custom built home. And now look what happened. They bought a house they're not 100% happy with and they're adding on to it. They're gonna spend all this money adding on to a house they don't 100% love and they just sold and walked away from the house that they loved? Make that make sense. But I cannot believe they're about to spend tens of thousands of dollars adding a gym, which makes no sense because they go to Orange Theory all the time, and then a guest room. This is tragic. Financially, I don't think they should be doing this. I mean, they had to sell their custom-built home because I believe they got themselves into a financial situation they couldn't get out of. They needed the equity out of that house. So they just need to chill with spending. Just take a break, take a breath. Do you think this house is your forever home? Do you miss the old house? Tara said, I've learned the hard way on here to never say forever, LOL. People lose their minds when people change their minds on something, but that's life. Who knows what the next couple of years will look like for our family. I definitely don't see us staying here forever though. I can answer this for you. Yes, both Tara and Adam miss that house. They will forever regret selling that house. I don't think they'll ever admit that, not anytime soon. And this is definitely not their forever home. It's not good enough in Tara's eyes. I mean, this is a beautiful home. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people would love to live in this house, but we're talking about for Tara. 
This is not the house of her dream, so no, she will not be here forever. You have a golf cart. Do you live in a little community that has everything, school, etc.? Tara said yes, and a center that is golf cart distance from our house that has everything we could ever want. Starbucks, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Kroger, Swig, Minchies, etc. I'm so excited for the weather to cool down so we can use it more. Adam takes the girls to school on it every morning though. So here we go again. Tara is revealing information about her location, which I feel like is incredibly dangerous. If you're a public figure online, I would never give strangers on the internet any information about my location. It's incredibly unsafe and careless in my opinion. But I have made video after video of Tara revealing private personal information online about her family, and she did it again recently. In a recent YouTube video, Tara showed her prescription, which had her name, prescription information, and address. I received so many DMs from viewers about this, I wanna read a few. Here's a screenshot of Tara Henderson's prescription on her new YouTube video. Literally, her address is under her name. Is she for real? So much for safety and privacy. That took all of a month and a half for her to be so careless. She said she's scared to share a lot of things online, but she's sharing the address where she gets her medication. Shake my head. She shared her address in her recent vlog. Although it is shocking for a public figure to share their address online, I'm not shocked that Tara did this at all. In my opinion, she's extremely careless and she's done this so many times. In her previous house, I lost count. Viewers started sending Tara messages, letting her know she left this information in her video, and Tara did go in and edit this part out, and she did it pretty quickly, but the damage has been done. So many people took screenshots. This information is all over the internet, and it's dangerous. There are four innocent kids living in that house. A few months ago, Tara said she didn't feel comfortable sharing the house buying process because there were some girls following her every move online and she didn't feel safe. I'm paraphrasing, but that's the gist of what she said. Well, that didn't last long. She's showing us her prescription. It's a careless mistake, but this careless mistake has just happened too many times. Like you've got to do better. Kind of miss the reason you closed down your clothing store. Tara said, Adam was a COO and ran a lot of the back end stuff, and without him, TB would not have been successful as it was. He came to me and told me he wanted to go back to school for engineering, and I didn't hesitate. He supported me from the very first day I started my YouTube channel. I was able to retire him from the military, and he's always been my biggest support system. It's my turn to return that favor. He's one of the smartest men I know, and I hate not seeing him live up to his fullest potential. Tara had an influencer boutique called Typically Blush. I covered this story from the beginning. You'll have to go back and check out my Tara Henderson playlist if you missed any of those videos because I covered the entire process of Tara closing her boutique. It's definitely an interesting story, but it did not go down the way she just said it. That's my opinion. If your husband comes to you and says, okay, I really wanna go back to school because I want to start my own career, and you have a successful online boutique, you don't close the boutique just so he can go to school. You hire someone to take his place. Wouldn't that make more sense? I'm not buying the narrative she's trying to spin here. She's saying that she had to close Typically Blush in order for Adam to go back to school and follow his dreams, and that's just not true. If Typically Blush was as successful as they claim it was, just hire a new manager, hire a new COO. Who in their right mind would close a successful business just because you're losing the COO? Nobody would do that. You just replace the COO and keep it moving. What do you think about Tara wanting to add on to her new, smaller home? And can you believe she shared her address again on YouTube? Tell me what you think, leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching YouTuber Headlines today. I'll see you next time.